guess what? They want your neighborhood friendly Hoosier Pond guy to build their dreams one boulder at a time. What's going on, everybody? Christopher Yaks here, Aquascapes of Michiana. Well, hey, I am in Highland, Indiana. I came out here today on a consultation with a lovely couple. Guess what? They want your neighborhood friendly Hoosier Pond guy to build their dreams one boulder at a time. So let me go ahead and flip this camera around and show you guys what I've painted on the ground for them. And they are absolutely excited to get this going. You gotta see a lot of painted, painted orange here. I know it probably doesn't make sense. Uh, they've had this area for a long time and they've always thought about what they wanted to do with it. She got on YouTube, found my channel, absolutely fell in love with the work that we do at Aquascapes of Michiana. Uh, my personality, my energy, my passion, creativeness, all that kind of stuff. And uh, just absolutely had to have me out here to draw her up a little something something. So we've got a nice 10 by 13. We're gonna go two feet deep. We've got our shelves right here. We've got our inner shelf right there. Right there where that stone, uh, that stepping stone right there, that's gonna be our fish cave. We got our skimmer box is gonna go somewhere in this area. I kind of put it off into this corner, but I think I might put that a little bit over a little bit more. We have actually got two waterfalls on this thing. So obviously our bio falls is gonna end up right here in this area. First drop is gonna be pointing right towards their kitchen or their kitchen sink, which is right there in that window and towards the garage. It's where her husband loves to, you know, work on cars and you know, that's kind of his shop area. So we're definitely gonna have that first drop from the bio falls pointing that way right here. Then we're gonna bring it around, bring it around town. And then obviously we've got their seating area. They got a nice above ground pool right here. And a very nice deck right here. And we're gonna bring that around and we're gonna drop that right into our pond. So that way all of this gets a great view of that waterfall right there. Obviously we're gonna keep a nice three foot wide path right in this area so they can get back here and get to things and you know, we'll obviously we'll put in a feeding rock right here in this corner for the fish all that kind of stuff. But the other cool thing, the biggest, coolest thing, they actually went to Aqualand the other weekend and they were at the retail store in the display area. And they, it was the display where you actually walked up and the waterfall was off to the right and you actually walked over the stream and it looked like a crack in between the two pieces of stone uh, right there and there in, inside their display center. So they actually want me to create that right here. So we're actually gonna put a Ponus waterfall spillway right back there where you see that, that concrete stone right there. And we're actually gonna create that same thing from Aqualand right here and then drop it into our pond right there. So gonna be some great planting areas for some lilies right in this area, right over there on that side. Like I said, we're gonna have a fish cave here. These are where uh, our aeration heads are gonna go. One here, one there. We got lights. We got one light there, two lights there, three lights right there. We're gonna have waterfall up light right there, waterfall up light right there, and we'll have another waterfall up light back there in that corner. Great, great, great project I got on the ground for them. They are absolutely ecstatic. They love it. They want to know if I can start tomorrow. <laughs> Unfortunately, I got to get all the stuff ordered for it. But uh, I should have most of this stuff at the shop already, ready to go. And uh, we're going to get this thing priced up for them and uh, get them right there on that schedule. This is probably going to be our last project for the 2021 season. Let's do this.
Alright, so it is lunchtime on day number one of actually digging. Yesterday, like I said, we just did prep, got all our stuff in here and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, here we go. Here's a hole. This is the inner. So this is this is our two foot straight drop right here. And then we're gonna shelf this out right here. And uh, right now, it's lunchtime. And I tell you what, I'll admit it, but the way to my heart is through my stomach. I'm that guy. So this client figured that out. Cause you know, like I said, she's a huge YouTube fan. She's watched all our YouTube videos, liked them, commented, shared them, all that kind of stuff. Huge fan. Yeah, she made us lunch. How's that lunch? Go. How's that lunch? Delicious. Delicious. So we got Slappa Joe's here. Yeah, I'm that guy. I, 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 I love to be fed. If you want to make me happy, feed me. I am that guy. So that's why my wife's family is Amish, and she still has all of those great family Amish recipes. So I'm going to eat lunch, and uh, we're going to get back at it. See you. Hey guys, what's going on? Well, uh, it is the end of basically day number two as far as building goes. Uh, we've been here three days. Like I said, day one was just prep, getting everything here because we are traveling uh, a little bit further than normal on this project, about an hour and 20 minutes away from the shop. We, uh, as you guys can see right here behind me, we got, uh, we got stuff rocked in. We got the pond for the most part. We got the pond rocked in. We're just setting our transitions up to our uh, two streams, getting, you know, getting the flapping in the, the streamliner and stuff like that. Uh, but let me go ahead and show you guys, turn you around and show you guys exactly what we got done. So we got our skimmer box set uh, put in. We got our autofill right here in the back. We're actually gonna have two pumps in here. Uh, this is an Aquascape 1000 skimmer. 
So we can actually flow 10,000 gallons. So we're gonna have 5,000 gallons flowing up to this stream, up to there, right about where that box is. And that's where our bio falls is gonna be. And then we got another one flowing up and we're gonna have our Palmas waterfall spillway setting about right here, pointing up to the kitchen. Um, I've already started setting my waterfall right here. We've got all of our rocks in. We got a little bit more hiding to do on our fish cave right there. We got another one right there. We got a little bit more finishing of hiding the face of our skimmer box. All in all, we got this nice, they had two massive rocks, this one right here and this one right there uh, that they really wanted me to set that actually was in their landscape. Um, and they, they just wanted me to use it because they're big bulky rocks and they didn't want them. Uh, so that was actually the first one we set. And then we set that one. And the cool thing about that, that is actually gonna be a double framer. So the stream is actually gonna, gonna end right there coming into the pond. And then right here next to this one, that is where that one's gonna be. And that's actually gonna be the framer for the inside of that stream and the inside of this stream right here going up that way. Got a lot done uh, in a short amount of time. We've been fighting rain and bad weather and stuff like that. To get this amount done, I'm actually pretty happy. I've actually got two really new guys. This is actually probably the third project Eric has been on and our other guy that we just hired on, this is literally his first experience. There is a little bit of a learning curve as far as that goes. I'm doing a lot of stuff by myself, kinda, and you know, they're, they're getting me stuff and they're fixing things and all those types of things. So, I had a bug right on the screen. Uh, so until we can get them trained a little bit more fluid, um, as far as that goes, running machinery, setting rocks properly and stuff like that, you know, not training actually, you know, uh, doing that stuff. Things are gonna be a little bit slower, which we're okay with, I'm okay with. I'd rather train right, you know, and go slower. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. That's everything, that, you know, that's the motto that I live by as far as, as building water features, not a problem. Um, so if you guys are wondering, oh, why aren't you done yet? Aquascape Inc. would have had this done in a day. It doesn't really work that way when you've only got three guys and, and one of them's brand freaking new and the second one, this is his first season. So as well as they are doing, um, and, and showing me that they are competent, still got a long way to go. Once again, doing a great job here. Absolutely love it. Uh, so like I said, spillway is gonna be going right here and we're gonna point it right to the kitchen and it's gonna just flow right into there. That's gonna be our nice little drop into the pond right there. And then our bio falls is right here. And then like I said before, we're gonna do the Aqualand special. Coming right through here, probably bring it out this way and then drop it this way and then boom. Uh, that's gonna be a double framer. And then what we're actually gonna do is we'll bring this up, this gravel up and we'll bib this behind it. We'll bib behind all of this as well. We'll bring gravel up behind everything. We'll bib all of this so that way water goes over exactly where we want it to go. We're gonna be doing fill and bib. I don't know if that's what it's really called, but that's what I'm calling it. So we're gonna do fill and bib technique uh, rather than backfilling with soil the whole way. So we got a whole bunch of rain coming in tomorrow. Like it is, it's total washout. So we're not even gonna be here tomorrow. We might come in Friday, uh, but if not, we'll be back next week on Monday. Tuesday, we will be completely finished. This thing will be running. Stay tuned guys. See you guys later.